Hello everybody. Last ornament making video. This time we're going to do them in greens. So I have taped off this ornament. It's like a flat ornament, flatter. Nice flat surface works perfect for these blooms. I'm running out of my pillow paint. Gonna have to get some more going. So anyway, um, I found something different to do just after my last video. I had a little lip on the side that wasn't going over the tape. I just took that blower and blew it downward on the side. It worked perfectly. So I'll show you in this video. Just a little tipsy for you. Uh, that was um, this little piggy peacock. This is Harvest Gold. This is 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art. And since, um, no, I think, yeah, we will end there. Well, let's give it a little bit of, little drizzle of the peacock on top. Just a little bit. Okay. And we're going to do our cell activator. And we're going to blow. I am really enjoying doing this. Okay, now, you can't see it, but on the side here, that it has to go just a little further to get over that tape. So I'm just giving it a, a little blow down on the edge. And that's it. Look at this. Is this not pretty or what? Now, because these are slanted on the sides, this is rolling right off just perfectly. This will continue to move a, just a little bit, not much. Now, I do have a thicker pillow paint, so that's probably why. But there's no need to spin these. Every one of them has dried perfectly. Um, hasn't cracked, hasn't done anything because that paint is on there. Now, I didn't use a ton of pillow paint, but I just used enough to, to get over the sides. So that is what you have. We'll do the other one. I'm doing two of these today. Let me go. Oh, let me get my tray and get it out of the way. Just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The gold is just popping up through there. A little bit of white. So pretty. So I'm going to see how these do at my craft fair in December. And if they do well, I'll be making a lot of them next year. Because they really, where did it go? Oh, they really are nice and simple to do and you really can't goof it up. Okay, last one. And then we'll be moving on to something different in our next video. I just wanted to show you how nicely these work. I 
I really am down to the bottom of the barrel of this container of pillow. All right, here we go. And you see, it's not, it's, it's already not very thick already, the pillow. So that's just going to slide down, slide off, and require no spinning whatsoever. And that peacock is what I have found from the colors that I have that is the closest to Christmas. I just love it as the green for the holiday items. One more little drizzle of the green. We're a little crooked. Leveling it out. Here we go. Quickie, quickie. and make sure it's all going over the tape. And I don't know why. But my, uh, my bloom technique is working really good on this. Now, it could be because my pillow has thickened up since it got colder out. Or is it because I'm doing this on plastic? I don't know. But I'm getting beautiful blooms here. So it's really... It's like something's different. I'm guessing it's my pillow. Nice and thick. So yeah, always the thicker the better is what I found on the pillow. I remember when I first started and I poured out my first pillow and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so thick because I'm used to a thinner paint when I paint walls or whatever. And I'm like, this is too thick. So I added water to it, and I struggled for a while to get good blooms. And then um, I thickened up my pillow, and boy, they worked great. So the thicker, the better on your pillow. And I will hold it up and show you. There we go. Look at that. Is that just beautiful? It's so pretty. All right, everybody, so so I will let this dry for about two days. I will take the tape off, pulling backwards down towards the back so that just in case it gets stuck on the paint, it's not lifting your whole design off. And um, I will varnish this with some of my Liquitex gloss varnish. I will probably put um, some... Um, Crunchy, not crunchy, what do you call that? Like foily, shreddy things inside of it so that the back looks pretty too. And um, there you go. So if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and you'll be able to see future things that I do. And we will see you next time. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.